Back the script read the Yankees were going to win, and the script got flipped. The Orioles took the lead. But when things go awry, you know what you do? You bring in Aaron Judge to punch up the script. Yeah, and the author says, I think I'm going to have a mighty swing from Aaron Judge to end this. And you're exactly right, Bob. The Yankees started out feeling so great about this game. Five runs in the first inning. But then it started to tilt toward a night of depression for them because Loisica gave the lead back in the eighth inning, allowing a two-run home run to Severino. But some smart at-bats by the Yankees in the ninth. Urshela walks. LeMahieu gets a single. And then Judge works the count to three and one. And Sulcer has no choice but to throw him a strike in that situation. Doesn't want to put another base runner on. And we know what Aaron Judge does in that situation. The fastball was up. He clubs it out of the ballpark. You hear the Yankee dugout erupt because we can hear the Yankee dugout these days. And he helps secure that win for the Yankees. They've now defeated the Orioles 18 times in a row. Well, let's check with John Flaherty now. And Flash, it's interesting because you talk about the different parts of that script. The way Michael Givens threw in the eighth for the Orioles, they would have loved to have him in the ninth. They usually do, but they needed him in the eighth. And Sulzer's in there, maybe a different pitcher that the Yankees attacked. Yeah, and Aaron Judge really saved the night for the Yankees because this would have went down as a really bad loss when you're winning 5-0 in the first inning and you can't hold on to that lead and win the game. And also, your manager would have had to answer some questions and probably still will on why Tommy Canely wasn't in the game in the eighth inning or at least warming up. So that one swing of the bat from Aaron Judge against Solcer and, and Jack, I might disagree with you a little bit. I don't know if you can throw a fastball right down the middle 3-1 and one to Aaron Judge when you have Tyler Wade coming up next. I know there's only one out. I know it's first and second, but you got to be able to throw a breaking ball for a strike and a fastball count at the big league level. He didn't do it. He went right at Aaron Judge, and because of that, Aaron Judge saved the Yankees tonight. That's why you're the former Major League catcher. I just meant that he's got to come in and try and throw something good. I think the last strike, though, Flash, rattled him, though, too, the last pitch. I think he thought he had a strike call on the low fastball. He decided to elevate it a little bit, and Judge just destroyed it. You're right, with Wade on deck, that enters into the situation. We were talking in the studio here. I, we wondered if Ford might have become a pinch hit option there. I wonder if he's thinking about that too. But a lot of strategy swirling in that inning. Judge is the guy you don't want to let beat you, and they let that happen. Well,